when I started in 1976, as far as I understand, we weren't allowed to own buildings and facilities. Ivy Tech was a storefront operation. We had very tight quarters. The School of Business and the School of Health Sciences and Nursing were all in the uh, same rather small Catholic grade school building. I think there were classes at somewhere on Creasy, there were classes somewhere on Farabee, there were classes everywhere. There was no recognizable place that you could say is Ivy Tech and people hardly knew we existed. It was not clear what our role was. Uh, there were uh, community college systems in 47 other states, and Indiana was really running behind. From that point, Governor Daniels signed the a law making us the community college for Indiana. I signed the legislation for making Ivy Tech a true community college the instant I got it, uh, with uh, regret that it had taken so long that because Indiana has needed a, a true community college for a long, long time. We had worked for 12 years to get permission and funding to build this campus, and I will never forget that day. They brought in a Caterpillar end loader and had me up there uh, using that end loader to do the groundbreaking. <laughs> I was just so excited because our labs were beautiful and we'd helped design them. We had so much more space and we had a campus, we had the quad. I just felt like that that was one of the highest points of my 31 years at Ivy Tech. The, the transformation in, in terms of the facilities and sense of pride that exists today uh, compared to early on it just been such a significant and a positive change. In the paper, watch things on the news, you see things are happening at Ivy Tech that touch everyone in the community. I started out by teaching one class part-time and I simply fell in love with the two-year college students. They are so dedicated to their education and so determined to make a better life for themselves and their families. I woke up one morning and I decided that it was time to go back to school. Um, I decided that I would pay for it myself because of the affordability. I was able to enroll in college that day and start classes two days later. And now here I am with my own hotel and I've got you know, employees that look up to me and I just hope that I can be a role model for them as Ivy Tech has been for me. Ivy Tech is no longer an option but a necessity. I feel like with the advancing requirements that employers have for employees, Ivy Tech is equipping those Employ future employees with the skills required. Ivy Tech is the place where I, so many Hoosiers in the future, I think, will find the skills that make them work ready. Whether it leads on to further education, I hope it will for most of them, but whether it does or doesn't, uh, Ivy Tech can prepare citizens for family supporting jobs and a fulfilling, dignified life. It's just such a noble mission. For the future of Ivy Tech Community College, we're really excited about the opening of the Frankfurt campus in the summer of 2013, which will be the entry point for those students who will be going on to college and completing a college degree. Ivy Tech is giving our community hope again. I believe Ivy Tech is going to lead to the retention of our best and brightest, which is only going to mean future sustainability and future excellence in terms of economic development and neighborhood revitalization within the city of Frankfurt. I think we'll find new modes of instruction. I think we'll find new careers to teach people. I think we'll find new ways to form partnerships and connections with our community. My fondest memory, I think, is this year, really a couple months ago, when we opened our new building in Crawfordsville. Uh, the community's reaction was, was neat, actually. It was, we had a great turnout to the grand opening, and I think people were really surprised at how nice the building was. I see in Ivy Tech's future uh, an expansion into rural communities. The enormous growth of, of our region and the state. We're able to accommodate one class or uh, multiple classes, transfer classes, um, remedial classes. I mean, it, this the open access is, is boundless, I think. I've met hundreds, thousands of citizens for whom Ivy Tech has been a life-changing experience. I'm sorry it took 50 years for us to get to a community college as um, vibrant as and uh, alive as I think Ivy Tech is today, but uh, we still got some catching up to do, so the next 50 years, the next 50 weeks need to be a really busy one for you guys.